Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sweat App Program Lifting at Home uh, 1.0 and 2.0. Um, the difference between 1.0 and 2.0 is just a progression over the 15 weeks, I believe it is. So some of the pros and cons for lifting at home 1.0 and 2.0. The program is really easy to follow. Everything is timed. How many reps you have to do is put out there for you. You don't have to really think about what you're going to do. So with the sweat app, if you don't have some equipment, you can just swap it out for different equipment. Um, there's a little icon that you can click on in exchange. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to change your equipment in the program. So it's really easy. So let's say that I don't have a kettlebell. Can you see that? A kettlebell. So I'm going to click the little arrow circle, equipment availability. I'm going to deselect what I don't have. Actually, I have that. And then it'll show you all the options for different exercises. Guys, just stop tripping so loud. Thank you. So then it'll show you the exercises that you can sub in and then you just have to click the arrow, confirm, and there you go, it's swapped. Super easy. There's minimal equipment required. So if you only have a few dumbbells or whatnot at your home or your smaller gym, um, it's super easy. You just need a couple pieces of equipment and you're pretty much good to go. Um, today I trained glutes and hamstrings, quads and hamstrings, something like that. And I used a set of 15s, a set of 20s, and a set of 30s. And that was it. I got my way through the workout with just that. So it's super convenient. Um, if you're doing this in a full gym, you won't find yourself running around trying to find equipment that's available or trying to gather everything you need. You can kind of just set up in one spot, get your few dumbbells or kettlebells that you need and just power through it. It's super convenient. Um, I used to hate going to the gym and then running around for half the time trying to find what I needed. Not about that. So one of the other pros for the lifting at home programs is it's be between 30 minutes and 40 minutes, give or take what day it is. Today was a leg day, like I said, so it took me 50 to 55 minutes to do it. Uh, because there's so much right leg and left leg exercises rather than both at the same time. So if you're training um, right and left sides, right, with legs, it takes a little bit longer because you have to do it twice, right? So, but super quick, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, if you kind of power through the breaks, um, there's a one minute break between each set of exercises um, as like a little break before you get on to the next one. If you kind of skip those or the in-between rest periods, if you make those a little bit shorter, you can whip through it in 30 minutes or 35 minutes which if you're short on time like I have been in the past, it's very convenient. And you, regardless if you skip the breaks or you take the breaks, you're gonna be spent by the end of the workout. I'm just exhausted. Today I train legs and I'm like, okay, so I'm not gonna go on the, cy oh, the cycle, what's it called? The spin bike. I'm not gonna go on the spin bike before I'm because I want my legs to be ready and strong for the resistance training. So when I was done, I'm like, oh, okay, and now I'll go on the spin bike. My legs were jelly. They didn't want to work. So instead of, because my goal is to do 30 minutes on the spin bike, I only did 20 and I was just gassed. So regardless, this is a great exercise. <laughs> my most favorite part about the lifting at home program, whether 1.0, 2.0, it's the same thing same thing um, is there's a little bit of abs every day so every day you train the last circuit is two ab exercises back to back for three laps um, I love that because I don't like just having an ab day I find that very boring but then I also complain to myself why don't I have more defined looking abs so that is um, you know something a little bit of abs every day, lovely. Love it, love it. I actually train abs now, so that's fun. So some of the cons for the lifting at home program is you're not jumping around very much, which in my case, that's a pro. I should have put that with the pros. You're not jumping around very much, you're lifting weights, you're doing it high intensity. This isn't a con at all, this is a pro. Um, so a con 
maybe so with the build program which is the sister program to lifting at home build is for in the gym um, more equipment and within that i've heard you can put in the amount of weight you're lifting per exercise but the lifting at home only has that for a couple exercises that i've seen so far so maybe that could be a, a, a con is you can't enter the weight for every exercise you do you have to remember it um it's kind of a lame one lame con not really a con so as you progress from lifting at home 1.0 to 2.0 there's six week programs i believe um you'll progress from a pretty general body part split like lower body upper body lower body upper body and then i think there was like a challenge or like um like a full body day that yeah there was a full body day in the 1.0 which was awesome i really like that then when we get to the 2.0 it gets a little bit more specific with the splits so you'll have a glute and hamstring day let me just read it on here <laughs> make it easier on myself quads and hamstrings upper body glutes upper body and a glute burn um, glute burn i did that yesterday for last week's it burned <laughs> it's very correctly named um so i really like that it's a general upper body split all the time that I have seen for now. I'm on week 12 and there's 15 weeks right now. Um, I really like that because it keeps my upper body very even. I found with power, um, cause I, there was some splits that I didn't like to train. So then the other splits would get like more defined. And then I would, I felt like I looked lopsided, you know, like my back is really defined, but then I have a, like no pecs or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, so I really like with lifting at home how it keeps just upper body as general all together So you feel even and then lower body because we all want the big glutes There's focus for the glutes on two two days and then like general legs put in there for one or one and a half days Love it. Love it. I feel good. Got the booty is pumped Got, you know, I like it all right, so I'll just show you what I was reading off of here. So we have the quads and hamstrings. Uh, I did that today. Upper body, 30 to 40 minutes. Glutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Upper body again, 30 to 40. And then the optional glute burn day. Let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so just a little bit of equipment. It tells you at the top. And so like single leg glute bridge, static lunge, rest. If you want to make it like intense because you're a crazy person like myself, you can get rid of, just skip the rest. Uh, lateral walking, walking lunge, hip thrust, rest, and then a burnout, which, okay, this burnout looks easy, right? No weights, easy, great. No, not easy. She had this on another day and it was like 50 per side and I had, was considering taking my shoe off because it was so challenging. My butt was on fire. Uh, so then you have your low intensity, your recovery days you can choose from or just click, you know, rest day. I'm going to take a rest and <laughs> click start. Um, we got the brows. We'll go down to the challenges. So right here, more challenges. And this will show you the basic lifting at home challenges. There's three. I have completed all of those. Go me. And then the one intermediate challenge, um, which I haven't done yet because it actually looks like death. Like, look at this. Lateral walk, crab walk, quick kickback, bridge. And you do that three times. And that's not it. Then you have another one. Squats, pulse, diagonal walking lunge, hip abduction, kettlebell swings for th another three laps. That actually looks like I'm gonna keel over. So I'm putting that one off until, you know, I have the energy. So there you go, folks. I think that's everything. So I think that's everything for what I can kind of think of for reviewing the Lifting at Home program. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Just hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And let me know in the comment section below if there's any questions you have or anything you want to see. And I can cover that in a future video as well. 
Um, I'm on Instagram at kittygofit. I will always be there all the time because I love Instagram. Um, so yeah, so check it out. Send me a message. Let me know what you thought of the video. And we'll see you next time. What? I love that I just have... I forgot about that.